Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 8, The Dutchman's Secret. Free play walkthrough for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. We're going to grab all 8 compass points and all 10 of the mini kits, all in one sweet swoop. And we'll start off here in the port. And real quickly we'll show you which characters we think you need. And uh, we definitely recommend you play the whole story mode through. It will basically give you everybody you need, except for Blackbeard. He's going to cost you 500000 and he's floating around the port. So feel free to swoop him up if you want to complete this level to the fullest. Otherwise, follow along and uh, maybe play through a couple times, whichever you, whichever you prefer. Now that uh, we've got our toggle character selected, you want to make sure that you uh, switch through those at least one point in the level. Uh, we probably don't do that, but we're going to recommend you do because there is a trophy achievement for that. And if you want to get to 100%, you're going to need to achieve that. So right off the bat, we're going to start off just smashing and grabbing everything we can, basically. And uh, there are three characters that we're trying to get for the story mode. But before we do that, we want to grab a couple compass items. And one of them is going to be right here at the very beginning. And it's the broom that's laying there on the floor. So as soon as you pick it up, as soon as you use your compass to get it, whichever way you get it, um, it will count. And we'll go ahead and add that now. I don't know what our infatuation with this swinging light is. I don't know why we seem to think that had anything to do with the big giant clam. We know better. We know it controls the clam. Oh, yeah. All right. So then you can bring down, we'll bring up the boat, which dumps down the schmegma. Go ahead and build up the schmegma, and then use Bootstrap Bill to go ahead and slide on through. That'll take you up above. And once you get up above, you're going to want to switch back on over to Jack and pull out your compass up here, because there is a compass item. And there it is. It's the big pot sitting there. So we didn't even pull out Jack, but uh, if you're going for that trophy slash achievement for getting all eight in one run, you might want to use your compass rather than just smash and grab. But either way works for us. As long as it's obtained and added to our arsenal, that's fine by me. And we can basically uh, make our way back down to the bottom. We can smash a few things before we do so, though. And any day now. It's not like we don't have enough studs already. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. The item we're looking for is at the other end of the ship. It's the green lever. You can't really miss this. I'm sure you probably already have this one from the story mode. But we're going to pull out our trusty compass and follow it all the way there anyways. So, oh yeah, there it is. Booyah Kashow. So that's compass item number three. And we'll go ahead and smash a few things and make our way around and push, push on the lever. And that'll bring the rope pulley up to the top come on now again with the depth perception there oh and booyaka shao bust open that clam told you we knew who controlled the clam it's me Arr. all right uh, third time's the charm here uh, we knew we had to jump off the boat over on the far side but we didn't know exactly where it's actually right in the middle of the two bars it's pretty simple there's a little boinger down there that you can boing your way back up as long as you don't jump off the edge you'll be fine so we got ourselves our first mini kit now too, moving right along. And uh, hey, if you're here for mini kits specifically, feel free to use the quick link buttons down in the video description. It'll help you get to all of the mini kits specifically, or if you're looking for compass items, whichever the case may be, feel free to use them. Press them, use them, look at them, stare at them, memorize them, whichever works for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Bootstrap to get up through the schmegma again up top. And then once we get all the way to the very front, we'll notice there's a big black box with some red on it, indicating we need Blackbeard special power again. By the powers of Grave Skull. Oh wait, that's the wrong, wrong world there. All right, uh, we got the mini kit for opening the Blackbeard box, which is nice. And we can go ahead and climb up to the top. We are going to want to destroy that target here in a second. Oh no! I do recommend once you get up there with Bootstrap to go ahead and. Uh, knock the pieces down which I have already done and then build the stairs so you don't have to keep using bootstrap to get up there See, I'm an idiot I just keep keep needing them but nope anyways alright so there's a giant fish up here looks like a gonzo or something we'll go ahead and use Will's axe to drop it and it'll destroy and this is actually what gives us the pieces for the bottom never mind my bad 
I've edited so many videos in the last couple of minutes, it's ridiculous. We'll go ahead and jump up here with the Chica, and uh, once we get up there, we'll use Serena to destroy the little glass glowing element. And then we can, it drops a rope. Climb that rope all the way to the top. There's a purple stud up there if you want to get it. We missed it. But uh, there's also a mini kit. So mini kit number three. You can use Philip to destroy that glass too. I got Serena labeled there because that's who we have at the time. And she's free if you've beat the regular story mission. So now all those bricks are, are a bouncing and we can go ahead and build up the staircase after I show off my sword expertise there. And uh, nothing like a little air battle, right? Cha -cha -cha -cha. And all right, so we'll run back up. We got a few more bricks to build, which will give us the second of the three guys we need. And then we already know we smashed the clam a few minutes ago, so we know he's down here too. And he won't be satisfied until he rides away on his broom. So gets to sweeping, fool. Gets to sweeping. All right, now as soon as you get all three of the characters, it'll uh, automatically teleport you inside the sheep. And we're just going to start busting things up. Hey, what's up, Thumby? You don't look too happy. Oh, he must not be thrilled about the fact that uh, we're stud hunting right now. There's... No mini kits or oh, not, that must be it. No mini kits or nothing going on. Hey, if you guys are interested in getting your own little Lego character likeness, uh, there's a link down below in the video description as well. It'll take you to our artist that did that for us. He's awesome. Tell him we sent you. He might take care of you. And uh, so yeah, all right, we're getting pretty close to the next available item. Any guesses where it is? Going down. All right. So now we're down to the next level down, which you obviously saw us fall through that hole. And now that we're down here, we're kind of stuck. There's no way back up. However, will we get back up? Well, first things first. We're going to smash and grab a, quite a few items down here. And Bootstrap's got a little secret stash over in the corner that'll give us our ladder back. So, uh, spoiler alert, that's how we get up there. Now we're going to switch over to, well, I was going to say over to Jack. And we're going to use our compass here. And we're going to follow the little blue ghost footprints all the way around to the front side of this barrel here. He smacked us because he was hanging out, but uh, we'll take care of that. So you're going to need a light to scare him, and then you need to bust him up. Yeah, they, they uh, do not like the light. All right. All right, so compass item toasted. It's ours, and moving along, we're going to bust up a few more things and grab some more studs because, hey, we're greedy. Oh, yeah. I wonder what the highest stud count is. That's a good thing to put in the comments down below. Well, when you guys are all said and done, bought all the characters all the way to the end, what is your final stud count? And did you keep playing to make that stud count go higher? Or did you just end up with that? Because I'm curious. There should be a way to, like, transport all your studs into, like, you know, a Lego universe. I know Halo did that a long time ago with, like, the Halo universe like a lot of your points and you could unlock things for other games because of you played the first game that'd be really cool because uh lego is awesome and they're all connected in some way or another mainly because they're made of little tiny wee wee bricks Ooh, i said wee wee um all right so moving along we're gonna go ahead and switch to barnacle bill that's what i call him now it's bootstrap just in case you forgot and spin the wheel inside once you go through the schmegma and then uh you can return right back through or you can cheat and just switch your character and climb the ladder but that would be the wrong thing to do because you got to go down another level. Use a strong character, tattoo pirate, a bunch of other guys work. Blackbeard works just the same. Once you get down here, there are quite a few tentacles, and we'll watch out for those. And then there's also this black and red box on the corner wall here. We'll go ahead and make it shake, and once it dances a jig and explodes, we'll grab mini kit number four. There's obviously a couple more tentacles floating around. You can use a light to get rid of those. That surely helps. Ooh, another bootstrap bill location. I wonder what that'll take us. All right, so there's some spears here. You can see there's a little sword thingy-me-bobber, and we need to put our sword in there, but there's actually another one on the other side that will be needed to be engaged in order for that to work. So we sneak through the schmegma, and uh, once bootstrap's over here, we can use his sword and Jack's sword on the other side. And we'll do that right... Oh, nope, psych! I'm like, what's going on? Nothing? All right, should I go back over there? Okay. All right. Woohoo! What's up, Bullet Dog? What up, buddy? I don't know if you watch any of these Lego videos or not, but what's up, sir? What's up? All right, now we got it all figured out. Both swords inserted. <laughs> and once they're both in there, there will be a bunch of bricks bouncing around. You're going to build those up, and you're going to get a snail. 
And this snail is going to be rideable, but he rides around in a circle anyways. Once he does a lap, booyakashow. Mini kit number five. Feel free to hop on him and ride around like I do. Man, I wish I could just roll this snail everywhere I go. It would be a pretty, uh, pretty awesome scenario there. Oh, to the yeah. Look at that. I'm super awesome. I'm like, ha, ha You can't come this way. So I'm out. All right, now I'm going to climb up the uh, the old ladderini. Or am I? Ho, 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 fooled you. And once we uh, figure out what we're doing, we'll go ahead and grab the compass one last time down here. And check it out, check it, check it out. And wait, did I say one last time? I meant two last times because we'll find the fishy fishy. And then we'll switch on over. And on the far right side down here, there's the trident. This one's not gold like the last one, but hey, it'll do. I'm sure it's got a nice payout. And all right, is that it? Is that it? Are we done down here? Are you sure? All right, one last snail ride? No? Maybe? All right, it's all right. Let's get out of here. All right, back up top now. We're going to use the light that we find on this floor all the way on the top floor. And that will go ahead and take those tentacles in the corner away and allow us to jump over the boxes and snag that mini kit. Oh, to the yeah. We'll take it. Don't mind if we do. All right, now this one's a little tricky. You need the light to make the tentacles go away. Once you've done that, you need to take one character and put the sword in and take the other character and push the green slider. I took about, I don't know, a try or two before I figure this out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to push this. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I'll push it this way. Oh, no, that doesn't work either. Oh, one more try. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, let's try the sword. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Now we got it. Let's do it. Wee! All right, so push the gate open. Once the gate's fully ajar, there are two more compass items we'll find that are actually, um, well, right up around the corner. we got to follow Davy Jones into his little organ room. It's amazing the size of the room once you go in. It's like, the boat's not that big, but once you get in there, it's like, huge. The room is huge. Tell me, tell me that when you go in this little tiny w hole right there that this is what's inside. Well, not the compass, but look at that. That's huge. Maybe it is. Maybe it's to scale. I don't know. One last look. See how big? The yeah, I don't know. All right, so there are two compass items, but they are actually uh, not available quite yet. What we're going to do is use bootstrap to slide through the schmagma and put our sword in. And each time you put your sword in, there's one on each side, it'll actually give us the little captain's wheel. Push those into place and spin it. Now, real quick, uh, you keep spinning those things both sides, and eventually a mini kit will appear in the middle. Now, we do come back to that, so I just wanted to make that apparent now if you're standing here doing nothing instead of watching me noob it up over here and go through the schmegma back and forth. You could uh, feel free to go ahead and try that out right now. And then later, you won't have to worry about it. But once you get over here, you use the other side, but you can shout, push it into place, spin the wheel, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. All right, so now I can get across, right? But I'm surely not going to be able to carry that block that needs to be placed on that green panel. And uh, we'll have to go back and switch those. And when we do, we get that mini kit. But for now, we're going to use Marty and shoot open the silver cap on that little stump there. And once we get inside, there's a clam. Teach him a lesson real quick. Yeah, that's right. Don't be bouncing around with that smirk on your face, buddy. And you can actually go out on the front front side of the boat right there. But first, we're going to push this into place. Now, I totally noob it up right here. I, I wasn't sure what to do. All you got to do is bust the front of that cage off. But I couldn't get to it. My sword doesn't hit it, so obviously you got to throw a bomb or shoot it. So we come back to that in a minute, but feel free to bust it and grab it. But for now, we're going to use either Philip or Serena to break the glass. We use Serena. And as soon as you do, you grab that mini kit. And then we go back on a little bit of a stud run here, just chaw, 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 taking things out. And come on. So yeah, take another swing or two at that, and we'll hop out front here. I just can't seem to get my grimy little pirate mitts on that thing. And I figure it out in a minute, and I shoot it. I get I get a little uh, upset and pull out the cannon and blast away. All right, you can go back up, but you'd be selling yourself short. you got to go out the back door. And there's studs on both sides. Grab them both. And then right up above us here in the front, you can see there's a little gold bar. It's kind of hard to see. It's right at the top of the screen. You will need a female character to double jump up there. And uh, once you do, you'll pull yourself to victory. Ready? 
Let's try it. I actually go. I'm, I wasn't exactly sure where it was. I couldn't see it. I'm like, God, there's got to be a jump around here somewhere. All right, ready? Booyaka shao. Jump all the way up, and there it is on the front front. Whee! All right, so now you can head back inside the boat. And make sure you pull out your compass before you head up. We've got another bone sword. <laughs> got a bone to pick with you, sword. And, uh, yeah, this is another one of those funny moments. I don't know why this happens. Like, that is clearly not a very high curb or slat board, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. All right, so now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll figure this out. We'll take Marty and we'll blast it as promised after a quick look with uh, Serena. Yep, the bone sword's not going to do it, Brian. Going to have to switch to Marty. Farty Marty. All right, still one of my favorite pirate characters for many reasons. And look at that. Booyaka Shao. Get up in there. You earned it. All right. Good job, Marty. Now we can roll back upstairs. The last compass item is actually an automatic one. If you've played the story, you obviously have it. You've obviously played the story because you have to in order to unlock this. And it's for grabbing the key out of Davy Jones. There's even a little cutscene at the end that shows old Will and ooh, yeah, ooh, you know, it's all part of it. So here we are back as promised, spinning these wheels back and forth and forth and back. And if you do it enough, it'll uh, pop them up just like so. And there's the final mini kit. So that's going to wrap that up for collectibles. Feel free to move on to the next video or what have you. Uh, if you want to finish the level, you're welcome to do that as well. You probably remember from the story mode, it's uh, just a matter of bringing this item and slapping it where you're supposed to. And that's definitely not the place. I was trying to throw it from one side to the corner, but it didn't quite work out. Best way is to just walk on the corners. Yeah, buddy. Slap her into place, and it'll move the first tentacle. Then, uh, yeah, watch out for your buddy. He's going to get killed over and over again. All right, so you're going to want one guy on each of those. Then you got to move to the next one. It's just a really simple puzzle. And the final compass item is right there, as you can see, grabbing the key from Davy Jones. So, uh, Booyak Shao, true pirate. That was easy peasy. And that'll wrap up level eight, the Dutchman's Secret Free Play. We grabbed all the 10 mini kits as well. We're about to prove it to you. That is a lot of studage. 2.4 billion studs. All right, so here's all the compasses. We had a couple from the first go. And here's all the mini kits. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, to the yeah. Build them up, build them up. All right, so we'll take those studs too, right? Oakley Doakley, we'll take those gold bricks. We're over the halfway hump. We're actually not quite to the home stretch. We're getting closer, though. And yeah, buddy. So we got eight of these in the bag. We're almost done to this with the second movie. Pretty awesome. You uh, have any comments, any suggestions for us? If you do, head on over to Facebook or Twitter. Uh, comment, vote, subscribe down below as well is always an option. And by vote, we mean thumb up or thumb down. Be fair, though. If you give us a dislike, tell us what we did wrong or what you didn't like about it so we can either address it, move on, or call you a troll. That's usually my favorite thing to do. Because you can always tell when someone's a troll. All you have to do is click on their name and go well, look at their previous comments. It's pretty obvious. If you have a consistent troll set setup, then, uh, you know, troll's a troll, right? All right. I'm getting lost in words here, dragging it on, dragging it on. As always, until next time. See ya!